Greetings, citizens. Just a guy has arrived. So today I'd actually like to talk a little about Shadowverse instead of just posting, you know, gameplay videos as I've been doing. Because if you've been following me, you know, I can't imagine why you would, but if you've been following me, you know that I am, well, I'm not fond of gotcha games. I'm not fond of, you know, free-to-play games that, you know, try to addict you and milk you. And so you might be wondering, well, what the hell makes Shadowverse different? And why is it different from Hearthstone, for example? And I'd like to just talk about that a little. Because, you know, if you take a just a look at Shadowverse at a glance, you'd say, hey, wait a minute. It's, you know, a card game like any other. You could buy, you know, crystals, which is the premium currency, because Shadowverse actually started out as a uh, free-to-play card game. On, on phones, that is, just like, you know, all the gotcha games of old or present, in fact. But, you know, so let's just see here. Let's, you know, booster pack card games. You're very, you know, all this shenanigans nonsense. Bad, bad, bad stuff. Anyway. Well, but first off, let's compare it to Hearthstone. Hearthstone gives you five cards per pack, and it's significantly harder to earn its normal currency, although you don't... There's not a premium currency. That's a long story. Anyway, Hearthstone is... This game is very much like Hearthstone, the card game. In Hearthstone, you get five cards per pack, and when you get cards you want to get rid of you have extras of you only need three per deck you can you know do this turn them into new cards through the files it's, i'm sorry i'm not explaining this well point is one thing that i really like about shadowverse because you know you gotta i'm it's this mainly uh, for a new player these are pretty rad you can buy pre-built decks. And for new players, you know, you can get cards that essentially like real card games that will, you know, help you get started. Or if you want to turn these cards into just, say, your liquids, your vials, whatever, then you can craft, um, you know, do, you don't want to liquefy that, but you can create, you know, new cards, which is, I find, pretty helpful like when i first started this game that is essentially what i did i bought a couple yeah i paid real money but unlike with the gotcha aspect you know i didn't go here and say okay i'm just gonna bot throw money at this game and do this even though it's like oh you do this is not good this this you know it's like oh tempting you tempting you and then this tempting you tempting you i'm not pushing towards that but with shadowverse they let you do this which with between that and now, they toned this down, but when I started, they were very, very generous with all the free packs. And they're still fairly generous, all things considered. But, regardless, they with this, you can get started very easily. And so, you know, there's that. With that out of the way, the other thing Shadowverse does is gives you a lot of leeway. When uh, Got to do that. With its missions, like, let's scroll down to all the shit I have done. Forgive my language, but it with at 100... 100 uh, rupees per whatchamacallit, and that's probably not even to show all the ones I've done, it will give you lots and lots of opportunities to get... Yeah, it's not showing all, like, the ranks and whatnot, so let's scroll up. I can scroll the mouse. Like, for example... Where is it? Like, for the low... Portal Craft was just introduced when five matches is portal craft and then uh da, 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 da. like level 20 reach level 20 is portal craft so you know with each class and there's eight classes you know it keeps just throwing stuff at you and then it's got a story mode which you can play and you know it'll give you stuff through doing the story chapters and so it basically it really does you know let you give you the tools you need to get started now if you want to quote unquote get serious about it then it does have the temptations of a gotcha game and i do not approve of those i do not support those but where shadowverse i feel stands apart is that it does provide monetary options which is something i feel these gotcha games should do if you know we, i've talked about this in previous videos where it's like gotcha games the, the, the defense for gotcha games, rather, 
that a lot of people say that there's, oh, you know, if they're free, they have to come up with, they have to get paid somehow. Well, Shadowverse has this alternative. It has, you know, as you can see, you know, I, I have bought some of these. Not all of them, you know, I haven't bought one of those yet, but, you know. Then they just came out with a new set of these, you know, very fancy stuff. But this is, you can, you don't have to gamble, you can, you can file, you can, uh, not file, it's, that's what those of us who play the game call it, but you can sell these cards, quote unquote, which, I, I'll get it, I could talk at length about the issues with, you know, having to pay for something and then only be able to sell it in the game, and I do think that's an issue. I might have actually talked about that in one of my Hearthstone videos, but regardless, with this system, you know, and it's not perfect, don't get me wrong, but with this system, you get a fairly solid deck. Like, these are rare cards. These are legendary cards. And these, unlike in the, actually, pre the new sets, the new legend, uh, the, the new premium pre-built packs, which uh, you can only get one of of each before it was three, you can, you can vial both of these instead of just one of them, which is, is fairly solid. Um, I, I don't want to sound like a salesman here, because, you know, ideally, like I say, don't, don't get into gacha games. They're bad, bad news. But, you know, unlike some gacha games, this is one where, you know, you can just play however, whenever you want. Like, I could just hop in. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because my dragon deck is not up to snuff. But regard anyway, the point is, you can just pop in, you know? Between all the missions it gives you, all the cards it gives you, all the opportunities it gives you to do stuff, and now it's an official eSport and, you know, all this other shenanigans, I feel like... Even though it does have all the temptations and what you really can avoid ever having to pay for gambling, which is my big issue with gotcha, you know? Like, because people do say, and I think it's fair, hey, they're providing this, and I've gotten a lot out of this free game. If it's a free game, how are they going to get paid? You know, da 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 da. Well, Shadowverse does provide an option to pay for these pre built decks. You know what you're getting, you don't have to gamble anything. And, as I said, you can just do this. You can just get those pre-built decks, use them however you want. You can use the cards, maybe use them for a while, and, you know, vile the... I say, it's, that's what goes with us, I said, into no call it, but you can vile those cards and just, you know, use the vials however you want. The vials are not, you know, one-to-one, -one, like how much it costs. Oh, God, I've got all my PDKs. That's sweet. Um... But yeah, you can vial the cards. I'm just sorry, I can't not say it for this, but yeah, you can turn the cards into vials and make other cards, which is what I did when I really felt I was getting into the game. It was like, you know what? I, I'm enjoying this. It's not going to be gambling. I can get rid of the cards that I do not feel like I'm going to use, or rather, those cards I want more. So you know what? I'll get one of these uh, theme decks. It's uh, what I used to call them. Let's see. I'm going to do this. And I will just do that. I don't care. And then I'll basically those vials will then help me get make a better deck or a deck that I have more fun using. At which point I'd be able to then play more, do the missions more, play better, and you know it keeps going. And I don't ever need to gamble real money. It gives me you know you get three missions every day so that's like if you do well either a pack and like over 100 rupees or even 150 or more rupees depending every day so that's a pack a day for free you know shot oh, sorry in hearthstone you know you've gotta play like a hundred games to maybe get enough for one pack of five cards over there and then you get one mission a day, quest a day for like up to I think 60 gold and then their quests are all crazy random so again in this respect I think Shadowverse does really well which is again why I I lean towards it and I think it does a good job with this kind of stuff but you know what do I know I'm just a guy yada yada blah 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 let's get through this oh shit my hands full oh well that happens like I said it's not it's not my amazing deck but I, I you know I gotta do my mission for the gold and you know you know this does have the, the fallbacks, if you will, of, you know, the gacha games. It started off, I believe, on mobile. It, it is now on Steam. You know, it's started on mobile, on Steam. And it is by a company that is very experienced in the gacha. Like, I made a video, or sort of, I talked about this in the video before I quit Fire Emblem Heroes, where, um, 
I, oh shoot, I could have used that. Oh well. Where I talked about um, that game in particular, which is, uh, for those not in the know, Grand Blue Fantasy, and that is a vile, evil game. Like, just, ugh. Just do this. So, this company knows what they're doing, but I think with this, they're not pushing it as much as they could. They're pushing it, like, and I'm, I'm sure there are people who get tempted and wail on this game, and I, I don't want to downplay that. I don't want to make it look like I'm forgiving of that, but I, I do want to explain why I tolerate it, if, if you will, and why I enjoy it. And, I mean, I think it's a fun game, you know? It, it doesn't have any of those energy stuff. I can play it when I want, how much I want. If I want to play it a lot, you know, I can do that. If I want to play it a little, again, I can do that. If I'm gonna about to get my ass beat here, which is a definite, I think, it's, you know, I can do that, you know, but I can do that at my own pace. I don't have to play by the game's rules, which is something a lot of gotcha games demand of me. This does not. However, I, I am pretty much screwed here, so... Oh well. Come on, come on, evolve, please. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, that is Kaiba, if you are familiar with uh, Japanese Kaiba. But... Wait, oh, I. Oh well, I'm lost anyway. But yeah, point is, between the pre built decks, how much they give you. And I know it is bad to say, oh, well, this is so generous. Because I know that's, that's how they get you. That, that is literally how they get you. I know it, but. Because, mainly, I think the main huge thing is this game has that alternative. Like, I can be alright, you know? Without that alternative, I'd be a lot more leery. Like, that's the thing. The, ga the free games, all these free games could learn from, like, Shadowverse here. Because, I mean, Shadowverse itself, even with these new premium decks, like, the new ones, I can't call them, well, I guess they're premium, but the pre -builts, they're better than the old ones, but you can only buy one of them, which means if you want to spend the money to get the vials to not have to gamble, which is a totally thing you could can do with the old ones, you can only do that once, which is, whereas with the old ones, you could have three options. But, I mean, you can still do that with the old ones, but they're not letting you do that anymore. Ooh, very nice. So, you know, that's something to think about going forward. But at the same time, these no these new decks are much better for newer players, like most of them are so you know it's, it's, it's i don't want to say catch 22 but you know you win some you lose some i know there's a saying there for that i don't know point is you I, I, they provide ways I, i'm repeating myself now but there are this game does provide some really i think genuinely positive ways where you don't have to do the all the gambling crap and i i as i said i'm repeating myself but I appreciate that, and I wish more of these gacha games did that, even if they, you know, kept in the gacha. Because there's nothing in this game that... It's not quite sure what I was about to say. There are a couple of things that require the premium currency, but they're not things that you are required to have to play the game. There's stuff like, um... Not this, but, um... This guy is something that you can only get from gambling, unfortunately. Um... But you don't need the premium currency for it, for example. Like, this you get from one of the... This is something actually people have not been too happy with. How the uh, there was a popularity contest a while back where the most popular characters got to have be turned into cards. And, uh, not cards. They were already cards. And they got to have um, leaders made into them or whatever. You know what I mean. And the way to get them now is to open them in packs. And uh, obviously people weren't too happy with that. I've been uh, kind of lucky. There have been uh, the, the five released. I've managed to miraculously get three so far. But you you can also buy with money Street, fi uh, uh, street Fighter characters, uh, seriously, uh, in the store. And there was, for a little while, uh, Fate Stay Night characters in the store that, you know, took real money to get. But... It was pretty nifty. Let's do this. My scrap! Here we go. What do we got? Oh, hey, okay, that's work. Actually, no, I would have preferred the other way. Oh, well. Whatever. 
do this so you don't die. These oh, they're, they'll banish it. I bet. Oh well, I just want to win to get that. That's the right way. You know, whatever. Regardless, yeah, it, 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 I don't want to. My point there was, I guess, I don't want to be coming off like I'm super duper mega forgiving or anything of because. Oh. Okay, I guess that works. Thank you. Neat. My rewards are automatically claimed. Thank you very much. I swear to God, his grin is so freaking creepy. Like, what the hell is going on up here? Like, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. As I was saying. This game does stuff that I appreciate. Uh, da, da, da. I want to do this. No, I want to do this one. But like, here, here, Fate Stay Night Leader. Like, uh, this one was available for a limited time. You get a set of them for, like, you know, a little more that expensive, I think. Like, I think it was, like, I think I want to say a little less than 30 bucks. And you might think that's a lot, but I'm getting a ton of out of this free game that I've never had to gamble money away for. it. And you know what? I enjoy Fate Stay Night. I get Rin as my leader and all this other stuff. Like, it's not a bad deal. But you might think that's crazy. Well, you know what? Maybe it is. Um, I won't disagree with you there. Uh, shit. I kind of want to keep uh, it. bad decision, but I'll keep it. Um, so, you know, there's that. So, basically, this is Shadowverse. It is, it is a gacha game. It is made by people who do really bad, 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 bad stuff with their gacha games. But... As far as gacha games go, I don't want to say this is an this is innocent, but it does provide alternatives. It does let you use those alternatives to, you know, play the game without having to go overboard, or rather, without having to ever pay, basically. So all in all, I I am able to you know play without worrying about that nonsense. So I do. And yeah, let's oh well, let's wrap up. I guess playing this out, see how it goes. I'm probably gonna lose if this is a decent deck, but we'll see. I haven't played anything yet, so I think we're good. Mm, what should I do here? I kind of want to draw. Alrighty. I think we're alright. Alright, wait a minute. Why do I have this one? I should put the other ones in. Oh well. So yeah. Oh, well, now I can tell you about the gameplay. In Shadowverse, there are seven... There were seven classes. Now there are eight. The new one was just recently added. And I'll do this... Oh, that was a bad move. I forgot. I don't... Ah, oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention to my hand size there. Oh, that wasn't good. All right, I'll do this. What do we got? Something I can play, maybe? Oh, well, I messed up. But yeah, there are seven classes. Now there are eight. If you're familiar with Hearthstone, you probably might kind of see how it's very similar. But each class, rather than having, you know, hero powers... Has, which is a thing in Hearthstone. If you don't know what that is, that's cool too. Damn it! Oh, that sucks. All right, well, let's drop you. Rather than having hero powers, each class has a um, uh, very unique to it. Like, the class I'm playing right now is Runecraft. And what it does is... All right, well, I'm basically telling them what's in my hand there, but it doesn't matter. It does spell boost, as you can see here. I click that, it shows you what my cards are. Like, this one has been spell boost four times, so its cost has been reduced by four. Same deal over here. And this one, meanwhile, when you spell boost it, it deals more damage. So, you know, fancy stuff. Oh, okay, neat. That's cool, I suppose. Okie dokie. I'll do you. And... Uh... I'll do you. So, oh shit! I only have two Darius in this deck. Any, sorry, anyway. Um, but yeah, this deck, meanwhile, is blood with all the vampires and such. It has vengeance, which means normally when it, their health gets down to half, their cards will have these fancy pants special vampire effects. But they've got Blood Moon out, which activates it even if their health is above ten. It's Kind of similar to Hearthstone's Warlock, but it's not quite. And so here, you know, cards in this class will, like, reduce health. Maybe kill. Like, here's one. You can read that there. 
And another great thing about Shadowverse is, you know, you can just do this, click that. You know, oh, what Storm do? Well, we're already open, but you know, you can scroll down, scroll up, all this fancy stuff. Here, let's let's get to work. Um, this will do three. And then, let's see that. Uh, do four. What do I want to do here? I could have just killed it. I probably should have just killed it. Whatever. Drop this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. I don't think I'm doing too hot there. Uh, I kind of want to save it for next turn. Yeah, I'll save it for next turn. So, you know, we got that going on. The other six classes are... Oh, I am not. I don't have any in my deck. Runecraft also has stuff with Earth Rites, which are these kind of amulet things, as you can see. They, these are not um, followers, as we call them followers here. They drop on the board, um, and they have effects. Like, this one is a countdown amulet, so in six turns, or, you know, if it fulfills the conditions, it will uh, leave. It will destroy it, and then when that happens, you have that effect. You know, fancy stuff. Uh, same here. Except not, well, not quite. This one's effect is it gets a thing until it leaves. This one's effect is it gets the effect when it leaves. You know, self-explanatory. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty. I think we're. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing good at explaining. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this. Shit. Oh yeah. Okay. I see what I'll do. I don't want to blow these cards exactly. I'll do this. This. And then I'll do this, which will save. I'm gonna lose my hand here because of her, but I get a whole new hand and she'll spell boost it five times. And I, ooh, ooh, I can do stuff with this. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's start with. Okay. Oh, I can just do this. That's fine. Oh wait, no, you don't. You don't oh, I'm sorry. I'm just talking to myself now, citizens. I apologize. I think we're doing all right, though. All things considered. Oh hell! One second, citizens. Sorry about that, I had a quick phone call, citizens. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's the basics of Shadowverse, more or less. It's why I am quote-unquote cool with it, but... Oh, hell. I think we're still okay, though. We're gonna finish through this game. I think we're alright. Let's see here. Um... This is going to do three, so I'll do this. Now it will do four. It should do four. Yes. This. Now I'll do the, Didn't want to do this, but I guess I don't have a choice. Boom. Let's see what they got. What do you got for me, miss? You have that! I don't like that. Although, if you don't kill my... Dang it! Oh, well. But yeah, the other six class... Oh, oh, I can use that. Oh, I could use that. Alright, let's try this. I'll do this. This is a bad move, I think, but we'll give a shot. It'll leave me with their board and two, and I will have this. That was good. Yes, maybe, no, I don't know. I wish I had my other Daria, but I don't know. I don't know, I think I'm in trouble. I think I used all my, uh, does this show my all, uh, spells that you used up to? No, it doesn't. Darn it. I don't remember if I've used all my uh, draws up yet. 
We'll see. No! No! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's not good at all. I am. Wow! No, I lost. This is bad. Yep, part of the cards. Part of the cards? Okay, I did have a draw left. And it failed me miserably. Thank you, Heart of the Cards, for nothing. Okay. Boop. And now I lose. Well, citizens, this has been um, just a guy talking about Shadowverse. If you got something out of this, um, that's awesome. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me um, lose miserably. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to hear me talk more about Shadowverse, uh, I'd, I'd love to. Um, I'll use the current the decks I'm good with next time, which would be uh, Haven, mostly. Like, generally Haven is what I'm good with. But yeah, Haven, Haven's a good Haven's where it's at. But yeah, for now, I'm afraid that this is going to have to be farewell.